Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be testing out a very bougie five minute routine. And I can't believe I spent so much money on makeup that is supposed to be very simple, easy, and only take you a handful of minutes, but I did because I went to Barney's and it costs admission to go to Barney's. Did you know that? Like they charge you at the door. They don't, but it kind of feels that way. Like I remember back when I was broke as a joke. Are we for real here? Every single video, something knocks over. Stop that. I remember back in the day when I was broke as a joke, like I just always felt like I did not belong in these fancy department stores. And I would look at the makeup counters and I would just be like, oh, makeup, pretty, beautiful, like gorgeous packaging. And I just wanted to try it all. And so I have to say one of the fun parts of doing what I do here on YouTube is I do have the chance to go and investigate makeup and try it all on for my job. So this was a really fun day. I was looking for something really up there and kind of crazy to try out. And I had never seen this line. Who knew the Gucci Westman had cream makeup products that are supposed to be so fast and easy and sophisticated. And basically it's like, it's gonna do the makeup for you. It's like a very easy sequence of steps. It's all cream makeup and I am excited to explore it. Oh my gosh, I kind of like vibe with the packaging today with like the gold and silver, kind of like gray gold pinky tone. Like that's my outfit mood of the moment. Not important to you guys at home, but for me, it just feels really nice. I just think the name of this is super cute. Okay, so it's Westman Atelier. I think that's how you say it. Atelier, what is it? Hey Siri. Siri, wake up. I need a new phone. That doesn't sound good. What does A-T-E-L-I-E-R mean? Okay. I found this on the web for what does A.D. Elier mean? I hate, yeah, I'm so annoyed with you. Fine, stop squeezing me. She's sassy today. Atelier. Which means a workshop or studio, especially one used by an artist or designer. I feel fancy just even saying that. Back to Barneys.com. I believe this is an exclusive to Barneys. It says, top makeup artist Gucci Westman launched Westman Atelier, a thoughtfully curated collection of products in 2018, combining luxury, efficacy, and clean formulations. Westman calls on her career as a major editorial makeup artist to create her line of consciously crafted cosmetics. So there aren't many products, as I mentioned, and when I was speaking with the gal behind the counter, she's like, the whole idea behind this was to create something very effortless, something where you wouldn't need 5,000 products, which for me, I'm like, well, What's wrong with 5,000 products? Cause I kind of like 5,000 products. I mean, I like glitter. I like doing like a lot of color in the crease. I like liquid lips, gloss, plumpers, balms, primers, foundation, contour, concealer. I like it all. So for me, when I see like quick makeup, I'm kind of like, that might just be me. There are days when I do reach for it, but I know that I love trying things that please, you know, a variety of you guys watching. So, you know, we do all price points, all different types of looks here on my channel, and we're gonna dive right in. So I don't have a primer, but I do have the Vital Skin Foundation Stick. Now this is $68. I have a blush, contour stick, powder bronzer, highlight stick and highlighter. Okay, I am going to open all of these up and set them together and I'm gonna see if I can do my makeup with these in five minutes. So I don't wanna be like fussing around opening things up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get good and prepped. Okay, so these are very like luxe, luxe woman products because they come in these ridiculous little things that I always complain about these. Like why? Why make these? Why am I spending money on these? Why do you need them? They're super annoying. No one ever goes in their makeup bag in the morning and like gets this out. Like it's even annoying putting it back in and it's like, oh, time to do my bronzer. No one does that. And if you're traveling, if you're anything like me, you're scooping it all together and putting it in a Ziploc bag. So this whole bit, you know, Tom Ford does it. A lot of other luxury brands do it. I don't like it. I really love the color of the packaging. I think it's very sleek and elegant. I love the gold trim right here. These are gorgeous, gorgeous products. So this is the highlighter. I was swatching it in Barney's. This is gonna be one that is not 
something that I normally would love, but I really am curious to try it. It's like a very wet finish, not glimmery highlight. So we're gonna try that and do a very glossy, glowy look on the face. I also got their contour stick in the shade Biscuit. That actually looks super gorgeous. I think it's gonna blend beautifully. So I'm just getting everything set up. So we have contour, we have highlight, we have blush and lip. We have a face stick, which is this right here. I want more. And then we have a cream highlight that is tinted. And this is a little bit bronzy to me, which is really interesting because this is the only shade that they have. We're gonna try and figure that out, see how it works. The weight of these is crazy. Like this is like a paper weight. It is so heavy. So the packaging is super sturdy. You are definitely paying for the packaging with this collection. I'm sure the product itself is great. We're about to find out, but I'm noticing that there was a lot put in to the packaging with this. So this is the bronzer. It feels so silky. This is the only powder product that they have. There is no primer. So I'm gonna be... <laughs> channeling James Charles and not using a primer today, which terrifies me. I am someone that loves a good priming setup with my face to kind of like fill in the pores. So we're gonna have a first stab at this and just kind of see if it's good enough to wear all day. And then maybe if I have to redo it, I'll redo it. But I'm gonna put my timer on and we are just gonna go for it for five minutes. And then we'll discuss the pricing, ingredients, all of that after these products are on my face. But I really wanna see if I can do this in five minutes. Timer's on and go. So I'm first gonna go in with the foundation. Ooh, that's a lot thicker than I thought it would be. Wait, there's no concealer, what the heck? I'm gonna go in with an artiste brush and blend. What am I gonna put on my brows? There's no brow product either. Suddenly I'm realizing I did not ask enough questions cause they're like, oh, it's a five minute face, you can do it. The foundation is really nice. I wish I had primer on cause I think it would look even better. I don't have concealer either, that's a problem. Okay, we're gonna go in with the contour and just kinda do it up a little. And I'm just gonna go back in with the Artiste brush to save time. Oh my gosh, two minutes, okay. So I have my contour on, holy moly. Okay, now we're gonna go in with a little blush. Boom, boom, boom. Put this on the lips. Oh yes, girl. Mm. Out the door and fabulous. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Actually, that's a really nice cream blush. Hello. The color of that is like beautiful. Wow. I actually super love that blush and the color of it on my lips a lot. That's not my mirror. Oh my God. Ah! Okay, we're almost at three minutes. I'm going to take this right here, the like universal cream highlight situation, and I'm just going to hit the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm also gonna hit my eyes. I'm gonna take the glossy one right on top of that and kind of down the nose, maybe a little on top of the lips. Oh my gosh, three minutes, 30 seconds. And then we'll take the powder bronzer and just kind of bronze the perimeter with the last minute that we have. Okay, we are at four minutes and 13 seconds and I am kind of like mind blown. Like this is not bad. I normally hate like an all cream routine, but you guys, this is actually super, super pretty. I can't believe I did that so fast. The only thing that's missing really is some mascara, brows, concealer, and primer. I think I wanna take this off and do this face with mascara, concealer, primer and brows and just kind of see how it wears all day because I am mind blown 
at how this applied. Even though I don't have anything else, it's actually better than just rolling out of bed. Like this is like a simple routine, I get it. I need to find you guys some dupes because I do not want you going out and spending $68 on each one of these sticks. I don't think that you need to do that, but I do think there's something to be said about the simplicity of going boom, 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 through an all cream, essentially all cream with exception of the bronzer routine. So this is really beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna take off my makeup. We're gonna reset and try again. I did my makeup in four minutes. Really? Literally four minutes. Like I'm not even joking for a minute. So it's like speed makeup. It looks nice, right? Yeah, look, I'm back here. My head looks really small. That's my like husband, this. everyone. Round of applause for James. I think I should have come in like this. This would have been better. Are you flexing again? No, I'm just Do you want to show everyone your muscles? No. Get away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am going to remove the makeup. It's okay, it's only four minutes lost. I'm fine with it. Um, we are going to go at this again. Jen Ewinley shocked. I'm gonna put a timer on just to kind of see really like how long it takes me with extra steps because I don't know, why not, right? <laughs> the brows alone will take like 25 minutes. That's the one part of my routine that always takes me five million years. Okay, so we are ready to go. We have a new timer going. I'm gonna go in first with my Guerlain primer. Wake up! Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte primer and do a little pore filling. I'm really curious, now that I've tried this on bare skin, I'm curious how it is going to perform on top of primer because you guys know I'm a primer kind of a gal. Oh my gosh, I have a dinner to go to tonight. So it's like one of those days where I'm trying new makeup and just kind of like praying to God that it works out. Cause I am gonna keep this on all day, you know? Like we'll find out the real deal of what's going on here. I am curious. I would never in my like right mind think to recommend expensive as all get out products like this without thoroughly testing them out. Going in with foundation again. Hopefully this is long wearing. It just honestly felt so nice. I usually don't like foundation that much right away. Again, you guys, I feel like I'm just gonna keep saying this every video just cause this is not sponsored. I drove to Barney's, I whipped out my own credit card. I don't know Gucci Westman. I don't have any relationship there. I bought all of this myself. I miss doing like the crazy WTF reviews. And if you guys come across like anything super extra, please let me know because I am more than happy to get back into that and try out like next level ridiculous products. It's just really interesting to me. All right, I wish I had my Clarisonic in front of me. Ooh, actually do I? <gasps> please don't be dead. Oh, yes. I don't know, there's just like something about this foundation. I'm gonna try layering it up just a tiny bit to see if we can build that coverage, but it is good. Now we're gonna go in with the contour. Keep it nice and high and back. Okay, so I might regret saying this later on, but I almost think it worked better without a primer. Oh my God, I, who am I right now? I don't even know because I love primer so much. I feel like it has gone on a little bit differently, maybe because I was fussing so much and over blending, but this is teaching me a little something that sometimes like blending and stopping and not being too picky is the better way to go. So we are going to pop on a little concealer because I do feel like I really want that, I crave that, I need a little brightening underneath the eye. And I always love seeing how some of my favorite concealers work with new foundations because they don't always layer correctly. Like you need that to happen. Seems to be blending fine. Now I'm gonna go in with a little brightening powder underneath the eye. I'm going to take the Kim Kardashian Brighten in shade one. Pop that underneath. 
I'm trying to still work somewhat quickly. And I really kind of don't want to powder the face a whole lot because you know I'm gonna go in with their cream blush right now, but also I wanna see how this wears minus the powder. This is probably the first cream blush I've ever truly enjoyed. Like I usually hate them so much, but this, I don't know, it's working for me. I'm like stamping it in and it is not moving around everywhere. The tone of it is really nice. It's not overly slick or greasy or weird looking. It just has a nice finish to it and it's very fresh. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the highlight cream that has a little bit of color to it and pop that on my cheekbones pretty generously. You know, when you do a look like this that is focused on the skin just being very fresh and clean, you can go a little heavier with things like blush and highlight and it just looks right. It doesn't look overdone. And now I'm gonna go over top with the clear stick and do even more of a gloss on the face. Another thing I normally absolutely hate so much, but for some unknown reason, at this moment, I am into it. How beautiful is that, right? Oh my God, can you imagine this? And then like a small hit of the Fenty highlighter, <gasps> like the glossiness underneath and then just like a little zhuzh of it. So beautiful, that would be the best. All right, so now I'm gonna finish off with the bronzer. I'm gonna quickly put a little bit of the bronzer in the crease of my eye. And I am going to now move on to brows, 14 minutes. Okay, so this definitely added on time for sure. If you're gonna be a little extra, do the priming, focus on blending a little bit more, but that's still not bad. All right, you guys, so here we are. This took about 20-ish minutes to do, and keep in mind that my brows take the most time of everything because I'm super crazy about how I fill them in. So everything's said and done. This is still a fast look, even if you add in those extra elements. What I wanna do right now is go eat lunch, but then afterward, I am sitting down and doing a different eye makeup look, so I'm leaving everything kind of blank here, but I will be sure to check in throughout the rest of the day to make sure the makeup stays looking fresh and good, there's no powder on my face. I'm super hopeful about this. I really think it's gonna wear well, but we will see as the hours pass. I will be sure to do a super close up for you guys at the very end of the day. And that's about that. I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, this foundation is unreal. I feel like I may have found my new favorite, favorite foundation. No joke, no exaggeration. I like all the other cream products. The bronzer was killer. Everything A to Z is so good. I'm about to change. It is like 9.30 at night. I had a dinner meeting that just went way, way, way late. So I didn't get to do any check-ins, but I'm gonna change into PJs. I'm going to stroll out to the studio, do a good close-up zoom for you guys so that you can see everything that you need to see. But I just have to tell you for not setting a foundation with a powder which I always, always, always do. I am just like shocked that my face is not falling apart. It doesn't feel itchy or greasy or anything weird like that. Um, it even looks, it looks like shinier in the um, viewfinder than it actually is. Like to me in the mirror right now, I just look really balanced and smooth and good and I love it. And I know that I changed up my eye look um, because I was filming me playing with that kind of choose your own adventure eye palette so i will link that below but i did not touch the face like at all not one bit so really cool i will see you in just a moment close up zoomed in the studio here we are in front of the camera in the studio oh my gosh now that i'm sitting down in front of these lights i realize the amount of eye makeup that i have on right now is so extreme from where we last let off, um, but I did test this guy right here. Again, I will link that other video below. I put a bunch of different looks to the test and wow, 
eyes, hello. But that's not what we're checking in on right now. I'm giving you my final thoughts on the five minute expensive luxury face. And you guys, I have to say, these items are going to be ones that I reach for over and over again because I really loved not only how my skin looked today, but how it felt. It just felt not like makeup in the best way possible. Like I felt pretty and covered and like I kind of had that like firming makeup feeling, but I didn't feel goopy or itchy or cakey or anything like that. So I am so all about these little guys. The packaging is an A+, the product is an A+, the price is up there. It is maybe not an A+, but if you were curious about these at all, I say they are worth a look, really different, and I'm happy that I tried them out. So I will leave you with uh, a good old close-up of my face. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to see that, so here you go. You can see for no touch-ups and no powder that the foundation ended up looking really, really nice and wore for a very, very long time. Again, it's like 10 o'clock right now, so it's been on my face for hours. All right, cool. We are all set to go on that. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are not subscribed and turn on the bell so that you are notified when I upload new videos. I am here Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. PST and I always have my hands in something new, luxury drugstore, weird products, you name it, I got it. And I hope you come back and hang out with me again soon. And I also hope that you are having a good one. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video. Mwah.